Oh, hey! I didn't see you standing there. This is Ethan Riffin, representing Perfect Films HD YouTube channel. And today we'll be coming at you with how to make how to make buttered hot dogs. First step is to gather your ingredients. Let's start out with ballpark hot dog buns. I prefer ballpark because I just think that they're a nice, rich, fluffy consistency. You're going to want to get some fringes, classic yellow mustard. This is optional. Get a some onion. This is also optional. You're going to want to get some two average length hot dog, hot dogs. You can make as many as you want, but for today's purposes, we'll be making two. A stick of butter. I find butter better than margarine. It's just kind of better for cooking all around. You're going to need a preparing board, a knife, a stirring spoon, and a pan. So we'll be right back and we'll start to prepare. Okay, the first step is you want to cut the hot dog open so that you can pivot it in the pan. So just make a nice slice. You want it to go about to the bottom like this, and then you want to peel it open. Just keep peeling it open until you can lay it down relatively flat. You want it to lay it down like this, as you can see. Let's get it open a little bit more here. It's laying down almost flat. Now this is actually going to be my, my last meal as December 22nd will not be occurring. The world will be ending at some point today. We, we're still looking, but you know, let's do this to our other hot dog. you got to have these hot dogs room temperature before cutting because it's going to be pretty difficult to cut a frozen hot dog. Okay, let's get these cut open here. Lay this baby out. And you make sure you wash your hands before performing this cutting process. Okay, so you've got your two hot dogs laid out. So the next step is going to be to cut off a thin slice of margarine and place it in your pan. Let's get another slice. You're just going to want to get a little bit in there. Then turn on your stove to a high temperature, around 8 or 9. And get your stirring spoon. Just melt. Just wait for the butter to, butter to melt. And before we, do, before, while the butter melts, let's chop up our onion here. Chop it up. Okay, so we finished chopping up our onions here, and we're now we're going to want to start cooking the hot dog. So, you've got our melted butter, we basically just took the pan and spun it around to get it all spread out. So let's lay in our hot dogs. This. And then we want to put them on mid-high, and we're just going to, we're just going to watch those until they're done. So then you want to get your buns out. And I found that the best way to heat up buns, unless they are fresh or you're able to toast them in some manner, the best way would be the microwave, and you're going to get them open. Some people think that the microwave is not a good way to toast, uh, not a good way to heat up buns, but for our purposes today, we can be fine. Okay, so get a paper towel, like this, and just wrap your buns up. Wrap up both buns. And then just pop them in the microwave here. Do 30 seconds. Just wait for that to be done. Let's check on our pop dogs here. Just get them moving around, sizzling. Okay, we're almost done here. Okay, so our hot dog buns are done. Okay, they're feeling pretty fiery. Just get them out. 
They're not as good as normal hot dog buns, but they're fine. Okay, so we will set these aside to cool. Yeah, I'm not sure. Woo, they're hot. I'm chucking on hot dog buns. Hot dogs again. Move them around. Get a little sizzle. Let's try to check one out. Not quite done. We want them to be a brown consistency. We'll come back to these in a second. Okay, so our hot dogs seem to be done here, so we'll turn those off. Let them clean. Let's just knife one and flip her over. Flip her over this bad boy. Okay, that's perfect consistency. You see the browning mix? Because it's cooked with butter, that browning is going to be very, very, very tasty. Okay, so we need to let these cool off. Let's take them off of the uh, grill. I think that will get them to cool a little bit faster. Okay, as you can see, there's a nice blackened consistency on the hot dog. It's very brown and crunchy. This is because of the butter, how it was cooked. So let's get this thing made up. Here's an example. Hot dog, nice mustard and some onions. Very tasty. Oh. This dish is served perfectly with ruffles, pie, and ice cream. Let's see now how the chipmunk enjoys his meal. Are you liking that hot dog? Chick Man approves.